I'm going to be doing an airsoft gun review on the GNG FF16 Femi Fatal Carbine. You can purchase these at ebike.com or at GNG's website. So the box it comes with, you can see the gun picture on the sticker on the front and has the female on the side saying Femi Fatal. Let's open it up. The gun itself is made up of a plastic body with metal parts, the interior is metal, and it come, it's a split gearbox, and the interiors are metal. Everything hot pink is plastic, everything this kind of eggplant pinkish color is metal. You have one side, you have the girl saying Femi Fatal and you have your selector switch. Other side, your spring decompression and your mag release. There are two things that don't function on this gun that look like they should. First off, the slider, you pull back, you know, so it doesn't open to show and to change the hop up. Think of all, the spring decompressor doesn't do anything. Now, to open this, you have to manually do it. There's your piston, and there's the hop up. Another thing, if you like to rapid fire this, your switch, and you have it on semi auto, which is like that, and you go click, 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 stop shooting, you will now have to put it on a full auto like so, and now hold the trigger down so it sprays for a couple seconds, maybe one second, just brrr, done, put it back to, where's it, to semi-auto and you're good, it jams a lot because you can't decompress the spring. Other than that, it shoots 12 BBs a second and shoots at the, between 355 and 360 FPS. It has the wiring to the front, so the battery goes in here. Don't know about the back. When I bought it from eBike, they said you cannot put the battery back here. I have not tried yet. As for the sights, they are fully functional. This down here does turn, and this does turn the lift up and down. You can adjust the forward sight, the little thing in there, by turning it, pressing down and turning. You, here's your sling mount, sling mount, type of battery, the battery does not come with it. You're going to want a small type, 9.6 volt nunchuck battery, like I show here. That's the kind that I have. Now for the mag, the magazine, it's a standard M4, M16 magazine. You know, nice paint job, thick paint job, will not scratch very easily. Goes into the gun. It's a high capacity 450 round magazine. As for the front, something that they advertise and show, the flash hider is not the same color as the barrel. They show it to be the same color, but as you can see, it is black and orange. Other than that, your nice little instruction manual, your nice little pink poster like manual showing all the interiors of the gun, you know, the blueprints, everything, all the fun stuff. Different versions of the gun, how to open, close it. Um, the battery, as you can see, goes in the front, standard. You slide this down, it's really hard to do because it's brand new. The part comes off, put the battery in, put it back on, just slides back up. So this, you know, and there you go. To open it, there's a pin. You're going to want to push right there. On the other side, you can see the head of it. Right there. So it's kind of there. Just to make it easier. You just All you have to do is pop that out. I'm not going to do it. It's kind of stuck right now. But it is very similar to an ICS M4. The inner barrel, or the outer barrel, I don't really know what you would call it, is threaded so you can put a suppressor on it.
This is the G&G FF16 Femi Fatal Carbine.